Hi there, this is Josh Hines. I'm going to take just a minute to speak on a topic I call the law of diminishing intent. And uh, before I get into that, I want to assure you I'm going to explain to you why I'm dressed like this and probably look kind of flushed. It actually fits into what I'm going to talk about. And, and more importantly, I think it can help you with some things. Okay, so the reason, you know, the reason I look like this is because literally I just got off catching, you know, I got off riding my bike and and so naturally I'm a little bit winded and basically it's cold outside so wearing the hat like this. This isn't some prop. Now how that fits is a lot of times what I'll do is I'll come up with thoughts that I want to share or you know for example a lot of the ideas in the book that I wrote, It's Your Life Live Big came from you know getting out and doing some exercise and different things like that and sharing thoughts. One of the reasons, and, and while I was out, I got to thinking, one of the reasons I think a lot of people fall short on the goals and, and dreams that they set is really, and this is important, is really not because they lack the ability to do it, or maybe they don't have a particular skill, but not that they lack the ability to acquire that skill or connect with and work with people that could, that could help them accomplish what they want. It's that they fall prey to what I call the law of diminishing intent. And that's not some fancy way of saying something. It literally is what it sounds like. In other words, we have great intent. We want to get out and get exercise. You know, but it's cold. That's a legitimate excuse. Or, or something else pulls us in a direction. It may be extremely important. But the idea is very simple. The longer we go and the longer we allow what we intend to do to stretch out, it's my belief and, and, it, and from experience that the far less likely we will ever do the thing that we need to do. And, and that becomes detrimental to our achieving our dreams and, and achieving success in any level on, for a lot of reasons, but the simplest fact is if, if you want to accomplish things, you, you know, we use this term a lot, you've got to be in it to win it. Like I've said before, it sounds like a cliche, but it's true. You hear it a lot because it's true. So, again, I want you to keep that simple idea and keep that thought of the law of diminishing intent in your mind. Again, all it means is the longer you allow yourself to not do what you know you need to do, the less likely you're ever going to get back to it and, and do it. And, again, that's something you, if you'll apply that in your personal life, professional life, whatever it is, whatever it is, if you'll keep that in mind and be aware of that, that's going to be enough to jog your mind to, to act and do what you need to do. And as a result, you're going to see a lot more of the things that you took the time to write down, a lot more of the things that you'd like to see show up in your life appear. It's not a magic pill. It's not some, it doesn't happen by magic. It happens because you're involved in the process. So keep that in mind. And again, like I said, I'm, I'm, I had this thought out there. I had this intention while I was out there scooting along riding my bike that I wanted to share this message. Now, I could have waited. Um, I could have gotten myself more presentable. I could have put my suit on. I could have looked more, more like I was going to look during my work day or when I go to speak to groups, more presentable. But I know myself well enough, and I know that I, if I'm not careful, and I've certainly have had plenty of times in my life where I've allowed the law of diminishing intent to, to, to mess me up and make me fall short. So I wanted to get this message out, and so that's why I'm sitting here in my silly hat, um, you know, with the ears that pull down, um, slightly winded, because I'm not in super shape like I'd like to be, but hey, that's just part of being me, working on that, and in a t-shirt. Hopefully, though, in spite of all that, this is a message that resonates with you. But most importantly, I'm not saying this to hear myself talk. I can do that all day long. I hope that you get something out of this. I hope you apply it in your life. And I want you to remember, it's your life. Live big.